CSI 2140, Analyze Mode, Experts, Goes Down Peak Hold. My name is Johan van Peenbroek and in this video tutorial I will show you how to collect Goes Down Peak Hold measurements with the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. But allow me to explain first of all what is the purpose for Goes Down Peak Hold measurements. Gaussian peak hold measurements is a special method to measure natural frequencies of an installation when no phase input is available. To explain the method better, allow me to first explain traditional measurements for resonance detection using a vibration probe and a phase probe. If you collect traditional runout measurements, peak phase measurements, you will collect data where you have in one plot the speed versus the vibration level and in the other plot the speed versus the phase. So you measure the run out of a machine and when the machine is going through a natural frequency you have an increase of the vibration level and you have a plot looking similar to this one. So in this example the machine is going twice through a natural frequency, one here and one here. In a phase plot you also see the phase shift of 180 degrees at the natural frequencies. This is a traditional method to detect resonance on equipment. But the limitation of this method is that you need phase information. In case that phase is not available, goes down peak hold is a good alternative. What is going on in goes down peak hold? We will measure a run out of a machine. So, you may expect to see a plot like this, however, phase and speed information is not available now, so you have purely your vibration measurements. But during the run out of the machine, the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer will measure a lot of spectra, one after each other, as quick as possible. But at the end, when the machine is at zero speed, he will present only one spectrum but a very special spectrum. In the spectrum every frequency line will always show you the highest amplitude that was measured for that particular frequency during the run out. And as a result he will show you a peak that is coming from here and the other peak is coming from here and you have a spectrum based on the peak hold method that is showing your natural frequencies without phase information. Now let's take a look how to collect this data with the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. What you're seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. First thing to do go to F7 advanced analyze and then go to more experts F7, F4 goes down peak hold. To start the measurements you can push start here, however before we will do that let's take a quick look to some manual settings. Go to manual analyze and here one important thing to notice is that traditionally this is only measured on one channel, however natural frequencies are different in every direction. With the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer you can now measure up to four channels simultaneously. So it's a good opportunity here to measure the three directions, horizontal, vertical and axials simultaneously. So I'm going to change the input, input setup, select input and I will make channel B and C also active. So you have an option here to work with three accelerometers or with the triac sensors. So everywhere on the three channels I prefer to see the result in velocity. And I'm ready to collect data. and I push enter to start the measurements. Now you see immediately channel A, B and C and when I stop the machine
you notice that it's collecting spectra very fast for the three directions And the measurements are done, the machine is at almost zero speed, I push stop F9. Now if you want you can store the data in the job mode or you can now review the data. So when you go to switch plot type you can select what you want to see, so I see now the three directions. If you only want to see one direction, disable the plots. And now for channel A, expand, and here are your two natural frequencies. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.